When it comes to education, it's vitally important that every child is in the right school with the right approach to their unique learning style. Now, sometimes cost can get in the way of that, something the Institute for Better Education aims to resolve. Kimberly Kirshner is here with more. Hey, Kimberly. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course, it's great to have you. So tell us a little bit more about IBE and how they're helping the children of Arizona. Absolutely. The Institute for Better Education has been around for 23 years since the beginning of this private school tax credit program. This program is around solely to make sure children are able to attend the school that's best for them. If there's a tuition, not all families necessarily have the opportunity to attend that school. That's where we step in with tax credit scholarships. Arizona residents who pay taxes, which is anybody with a job, has a tax burden or a liability. They can turn that tax burden or liability into children's education scholarships. And that's where we come in, making sure they're able to attend. It makes it so simple. And so how does an Arizona taxpayer determine how much they can donate in lieu of their state taxes? Great question. It's super simple. All they need to do is determine what their liability is. And for 2019, on their Arizona Form 140, the form that they file every year annually, it was line number 48. That's called the subtotal of tax line. That line is what their liability is, is what the state of Arizona would like from them for their taxes. It doesn't take into consideration how much money they've already contributed to the uh, Department of Revenue in that savings account that is sent to them from their employer. So they have their taxes taken out of their paycheck, it goes to the Department of Revenue. Their liability is what they're able to do a tax credit all the way up to that number. If their liability is $5,000, even if they've had $5,000 withheld from their paycheck, they can still do tax credits up to that amount. For the Institute for Better Education, a married couple filing jointly can go up to $2,365 in their donation to help children's education here in Arizona. And they don't want to go higher than their line 48, but they certainly can go up to the maximum amount for IBE if their number's above that. And those dollars certainly make a difference. So what is the deadline for an Arizona taxpayer to actually make a 2020 donation? They have all the way until April 15th of 2021 to make a 2020 tax credit donation. A lot of people are making their donations right now because end of year giving, they want to make sure that they've done their tax credit donation prior to filing their taxes, which they need to, and they want to be on the spot and get their taxes done as soon as they are uh, released from the Department of Revenue. A lot of people also wait closer to April 15th when they determine what their line number 48 on their 2020 taxes is. That gives them the number that they can do tax credits up to, I would say 25% of our donations come in between April 1st and April 15th, which last year was in excess of $5 million. People really came through. So, uh, you know, are Arizona businesses uh, able to receive a dollar for dollar state tax credit as well? Because they're an important part of this effort. They are. Ever since 2006, Arizona businesses that are eligible, which would be C corporations, S corporations, most LLCs and insurance companies have the same opportunity to make a dollar for dollar tax credit. They can say up to their full liability, this is how much I would like to help children and they will be helping children with low income from low income families or children with disabilities or who have ever been in the Arizona foster care system. So some of our most vulnerable children population is helped by Arizona businesses and they are definitely on board with this. There's about I would say $11 million still available for potential business donors to make their donation and help these, these very special children. Absolutely. So is there any urgency for Arizonans and Arizona businesses to make the decision to donate? Well, when it comes to the businesses, there is a annual cap statewide and it started out at close to 130 million dollars beginning of July. It's down to 11 million. And because businesses are doing their end of year giving now, it's going quickly. So in that case, once that cap is met, businesses will have to wait till next July 1st in order to make their donation. As far as taxpayers are concerned, getting it in by April 15th is what their deadline is, but the sooner they're able to get their funding in, they can recommend a specific child to receive those funds. So we can actually pay that child's tuition with the scholarship that is we, we are able to uh, produce due to the tax credit donation within a month. Kimberly Kirshner, those kids and their parents are very lucky to have you. Thank you so much for everything you're doing and for your time today. Thank you for having me. And if you'd like to learn more about what the Institute for Better Education has to offer, call 520-512-5438 or visit ibescholarships.org.
and stay where you are. We'll be right back.